How to fix Google Classroom Server Rejected Error Encountering a server rejected error in Google Classroom can be frustrating, but there are several troubleshooting steps you can take to resolve the issue. 1. Check internet connection, ensure that you have a stable and active internet connection. Sometimes, intermittent connectivity issues can cause server rejections. Try accessing Google Classroom from a different network to see if the problem persists. 2. Clear browser cache and cookies, clear your browser's cache and cookies, as stored data might interfere with accessing Google Classroom. After clearing the cache and cookies, try accessing Google Classroom again. 3. Use a different browser or device, sometimes, browser-specific issues can cause server rejections. Try accessing Google Classroom using a different web browser or device to see if the problem is browser-specific. 4. Check Google Workspace status, visit the Google Workspace status dashboard to check if Google Classroom or any related services are experiencing outages or disruptions. If there are ongoing issues, you may need to wait until they are resolved. 5. Disable browser extensions, browser extensions or add-ons might interfere with the functioning of Google Classroom. Try disabling any extensions temporarily and see if the issue persists. 6. Update browser, ensure that your web browser is up to date. Outdated browsers might have compatibility issues with Google Classroom. 7. Check Google account status, make sure there are no issues with your Google account, such as being suspended or restricted. You can check your account status by visiting the Google account help page. 8. Contact support, if none of the above steps resolve the issue, consider contacting Google Classroom support for further assistance. They may be able to provide specific guidance or troubleshooting steps tailored to your situation. By following these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to resolve the server rejected error in Google Classroom. If you continue to experience issues, reaching out to Google support for further assistance is recommended. 